we are going to look for the our cranial nerves this is the our neuroanatomy part fine so try to catch this point sir in our brain the cranial nerves they are arranged in a beautiful manner god created our body very beautifully how catch this point sir these are our different cranial nerves and just indicating what is the name of the topic our topic is functional column of cranial nerve nuclei this is the one of the topic which is very very difficult not only in the anatomy but among all the your 19 subjects and yes it is important topic because questions are asked directly and indirectly from here this is the topic of the cranial nerve nuclei fine as i taught you earlier sir there are the our cranial nerves first catch this point second third fourth then fifth sixth seventh eighth ninth tenth eleventh and twelfth also i told you about the zero pair cranial nerve 13th pair cranial nerve and 14th pair cranial nerve but we are going to talk about our ideal cranial nerves try to catch this point in our classes i already inform you that first and second cranial nerve no nuclei yes then next two cranial nerve these are having the cranial nerve nuclei in the mid brain so you can remember the formula two cranial nerve nuclei in the mid brain yes then 5 6 7 8 8 these are the cranial nerve nuclei which are located in the pons so next four they are located in the pons and the last four sir these are located in the medulla so do you remember our formula sir 2 2 4 4 we remember this all the things one with one uh, funny song yes a g o g lo ji suno ji main hu man mau ji karta hu main jo wo tum bhi karo ji 1 2 ka 4 4 2 ka 1 my name is lakhan sajno ka sajan yes anil kapoor sahab our virat kohli is doing copy of him so with the help of this song yes 1 2 ka 4 4 2 ka 1 we are modifying this song and this song is 2 2 ka 4 4 and 4 4 ka 2 2 agree everybody so what you have to remember sir first two cranial nerve yes 2 2 4 4 first two cranial nerve no nucleus next two cranial nerve mid brain nucleus next four nucleus yes they are located in our pons 5 6 7 8 in the pons while the medulla is having the 9th 10th 11th 12th cranial nerve agree beta now try to understand what is the nucleus then we are going to enter in this part in our general anatomy part yes i told you that every neuron every neuron is having the cell body and the axon yes we are dealing with the first mbbs basics to the top clinical level for the i9 ct for the fmg for the usml for the plab everything so this is the general structure of our any neuron yes sir it is having the cell body which is having the short process known as the dendrites and the long process which is known as the axon so can you comment can you comment what is the nucleus yes we are starting from the very basics for the just student like me who was the nibba nibbi of the first mbbs so we are starting from the very basics and we will reach up to the neat usml plab this all the things i am looking at the chat box also if you will have any kind of doubt please ask better don't hesitate i am having i over the chat box also fine so what i want to tell you sir the cell body cell body is having the nissels granule sir it is having the nissels granule yes so this nissels granule is giving the appearance grayish in color so remember this is our cell body okay sir now the cell body collection yes sir can you answer the cell body collection within cns what is the name suppose i am giving a so can you tell me can you help me what is the a and the cell body collection out side cns that is the b so just tell me what is the a and what is the b collection of the cell body within the cns known as comment here and collection of the cell body outside the cns 
comment here and i need your help sir this is the exon and the collection of the exon you can say bundle of the exon this is known as c can you comment beta okay yes sir so we are going to look for this all the things yes you are right collection of the cell body within the cns it is known as nucleus so don't get confusion you will get the cranial nerve nuclei what is the cranial nerve nuclei sir it is nothing it is the collection of the cell bodies within the our central nervous system within the our brain within the our yes yes you can say cranial nerve nuclei within the brain stem even you will see the main nucleus located within the our spinal cord okay sir while the collection of the cell body outside the cns they are known as ganglion so these are the two very important fact for your basics of the first mbbs ask in your viva and the practical exams as well as it is very important for the basics of the i n i c t because you will see the cranial nerve nuclei damage yes cranial nerve paralysis and you are getting the upper motor neuron paralysis lower motor neuron paralysis different terminology without knowing this cranial nerve nuclei what is the meaning of the nucleus you cannot crack this clinical points okay sir also i told you that collection of the cell body outside the cns is known as the ganglion can you help me sir basal ganglion it is the correct term or incorrect try to understand basal means at the base of what our brain at the base of the brain there is a collection of the cell body sir but the collection of the cell body within the cns is known as the nucleus so actually the basal ganglion is the wrong term basal ganglion is the misnomer getting the point yes sir actual term is the basal nuclei but yes you can say parampara pratishtha anushasan chali aa rahi hai so we are using the term basal ganglion but it is incorrect because it is located within the cns now collection of the exon sir it is nothing this is your tract agree beta okay sir also later i will teach you the nucleus yes ganglion it is the collection of the cell body outside the cns ganglion but there is the one structure yes ganglion like structure but remember but made up of fat then such structures are known as pseudo ganglion yes ye kya hai beta ye jhootha ganglion hai actually these are not the ganglion but they are appearing like the ganglion so i told you the few basic concept for the our today's class yes so what i want to tell you sir the nucleus collection of the cell body within the cns sir collection of the cell body outside the cns ganglion sir bundle of the exons known as the tract later i will tell you that bundle of the exons with the same origin same course same termination and same function they are known as a tract but right now in simple language for the first mbbs students remember the collection of the exons known as the tract now what is a pseudo ganglion one another important question is ganglion like structure but actually not made by the nerve but it is made by the fat to ye kya hai jhootha ganglion okay sir so these are the our basic points which you have to remember hope you all are liking the session now catch this another point okay sir so we are going to look for the our functional column of the cranial nerve nuclei yes sir we are going to look for the our nuclei and i told you the first two cranial nerve no nucleus next two cranial nerve mid brain nucleus next four cranial nerve yes they are having the pontine nucleus last four cranial nerve they are having the medullary nucleus one beautiful three dimensional anatomy for all of you yes so now i am calling the jarvis the three dimensional anatomy the beautiful anatomy the iron man anatomy remember dear friends jisko jo kehna hai kehne do apna kya jata hai ye waqt waqt ki baat hai aur waqt sabhi ka aata hai kuch der ki khamoshi hai फिर शोर आएगा औरों का तो वक्त आया है हमारा दौर आएगा सो विद दिस ब्यूटीफुल अमेजिंग लाइंस वी आर गोइंग टू सी दिस अवर ब्यूटीफुल थ्री डायमेंशनल इन ऑटवी कैन यू सी सर दिस इज अवर लैटरल सुपर लैटरल एस्पेक्ट ऑफ द ब्रेन ओके सो कैन यू सी दिस इज द अवर बेसिक पार्ट द स्ट्रक्चर ओवर विच द ब्रेन इज लोकेटेड सो दिस इज नथिंग दिस इज अवर ब्रेन स्टेम सो ऑल द क्रेनियल और न्यूक्लिया दे आर लोकेटेड इन द ब्रेन स्टेम सो कैन यू सी दिस इज अवर लोअर पार्ट ऑफ द ब्रेन स्टेम यस सर दिस इज बल्ब लाइक डायलेटेड पार्ट सो नोन एज मेडुला getting the point sir it is a bulb like structure so if there is a damage in this bulb that will be known as a bulbar paralysis 
Okay, sir. Above this bulb, above this medulla, there is a pons. So remember, in the medulla, which cranial or nuclei? Sir, 9, 10, 11, 12. So damage to this bulb is resulting to the damage to the 9, 10, 11, 12 cranial nerve. So remember the meaning of the bulbar paralysis. Yes, if there is a medullary damage, then 9, 10, 11, 12 nerve damage. Yes, it is known as the bulbar paralysis. Means medullary paralysis and bulbar paralysis both are same thing. Beautiful clinical integration. Yes, this concept of the medicine will be cleared from the, our anatomy. Now see, above this medulla, there is the pons. Which cranial nerve nuclei are located here? Sir, 5, 6, 7, 8. These are located in the pons. Fine. Now when you will ascend upside, so you will see this is the our midbrain just behind to it. You can see there is the elevation superior colliculus and inferior colliculus just above the superior colliculus. This small structure is our pineal gland. I taught you in our anatomy radio medicine integrated session. So this is our pineal gland. If there is a pineal gland tumor, it will cause compression of the superior colliculus. This superior colliculus is having the our interstitial nucleus of the casal. Yes, better to say kahal nucleus, which is responsible for the upward gauge. If there is a damage, the patient will look downside. So that is known as a sun setting sign, also known as a doll's eye sign. Yes, we had seen our previous session. What you have to remember, at the superior colliculus level, there is the, our third cranial nerve nuclei. And at the, our inferior colliculus level, there is a fourth cranial nerve nuclei. Okay, so third and fourth, they are located in the midbrain, but first and second, they are not having the cranial nerve nuclei. Okay, so these all the things we had discussed already. Now try to understand, now we are going to look for this our nucleus, which are arranged in the column-like structure. So just observe the beauty, beauty of the God, how these cranial nerves are arranged in a beautiful way in our body. Catch this point. Sir, this is our first cranial nerve. You can see, sir, this is the second cranial nerve. Sir, this is our, yes, midbrain part where you can observe the medial structure, third cranial nerve, and the lateral structure, this is the fourth cranial nerve. Correct? Yes. These cranial nerve nuclei, they are located at the midbrain. Okay, sir. Now, the largest cranial nerve, can you observe? Sir, this is our, yes, you can see the fifth cranial nerve. Okay, sir. And then, can you observe, sir, this is our sixth at the pontomedullary junction and then seventh cranial nerve which is having the, our, yes, sensory and motor division and lateral most structure, sir, that is the, our vestibular cochlear nerve, eighth cranial nerve. Yes, sir. So, this five, six, seven, eight, these are having the nucleus in the pons. And now, come to the, our bulb-like dilatory structure. Can you see, this is the, our medulla which is having the bulb-like dilatory structure. So, this medulla is known as the bulb. Yes, damage to the medulla is known as the bulbar paralysis. Which cranial nerves are visible? You can observe the central elevation is the pyramid and the lateral elevation is the olive. Yes, sir. Now, catch this point. In between the our pyramid and olive. Yes, sir. In between the pyramid and olive, you can observe this particular cranial nerve. This is definitely our what? Twelfth cranial nerve. Yes, sir. It is our twelfth cranial nerve. Now look, just behind the our, yes, olive, you can observe the our different cranial other nerves. Sir, these are our 9th, 10th and 11th. So you will be able to see there is the presence of the 9th and then 10th and here is the 11th cranial nerve. Okay, sir. So what, sir? What is the relation of this all the cranial nerves with the today's topic? Just one observation. Then we are going to start our today's topic. Tell me better, sir. Here is the our third cranial nerve. It's a nucleus within the our midbrain. Suppose it is located at the deep side in the midbrain here. Can you see the thinnest cranial nerve, smallest cranial nerve? This is the fourth cranial nerve. Actually, it is coming from the back side and coming to the front. Okay? Yes. Suppose at the deeper aspect of the midbrain, it is having the nucleus just below the third within the midbrain. Okay, sir. Now, try to understand this is the third, this is the our, yes, fourth. Here you can see just below to it, sir, this is our sixth cranial nerve. So it is having the nucleus inside the pons, suppose here. And you can observe, sir, this is the twelfth cranial nerve. Suppose it is having the cranial nerve nuclei at this portion. What I want to tell you, the beautiful creation of the God, if you will observe, sir, this all the cranial nerves, these are arranged in a vertical column. So what? Yes, if you will observe, Sir, this our third, 
फोर्थ सिक्स दीज आर यूनिक वाई बिकॉज दे आर सप्लाइंग द ऑल द एक्स्ट्रा ऑक्यूलर मसल ब्यूटिफुल इंटीग्रेशन विद अवर ऑप्थेलमोलॉजी द थर्ड फोर्थ सिक्स यस ऑल द एक्स्ट्रा ऑक्यूलर मसल दे आर सप्लाइड बाय द थर्ड क्रेनियल नर्व एक्सेप्ट एस ओ फोर एल आर सिक्स सुपीरियर ऑब्लिक सप्लाइड बाय फोर्थ क्रेनियल नर्व वाइल द लैटरल रेक्टस इज सप्लाइड बाय सिक्स क्रेनियल नर्व एग्री बेटा नाउ कैच सर दिस इज अवर विच क्रेनियल नर्व सर इट इज अवर ट्वेल्थ क्रेनियल नर्व यस सर इट इज अवर ट्वेल्थ क्रेनियल नर्व सो इज एनी सिमिलरिटी इन बिटवीन दिस ऑल द क्रेनियल नर्व न्यूक्लिया कैच दिस पॉइंट सर दिस ऑल आर सप्लाइंग टू द मसल्स ऑफ द आई एंड द टंग these structures are derivative from the what somites in embryology i taught you yes so because these are supplying to the somites that's why these cranial nerve which are arranged in a particular column yes and they are deciding the function of the different structure of the body so these are known as the functional arranged in a particular column so functional column of what sir these are the cranial nerve nuclei and these nuclei which are arranged in a column they are having one similarity what sir these all are supplying the muscles of the eye and tongue and these all muscles are derivative of the somites so you will say somatic yes you will say somatic and can you help me these are controlling the motor activity or sensory activity sir because these are supplying the muscles and muscles are responsible for the movement yes lateral movement medial movement up down tongue muscles they are supplied by our 12th cranial nerve yes and these muscles are helping in the tongue movement yes right left protection upward downward there is a elevation there is a depression yes there is a shortening of the tongue this all are done by our 12th cranial nerve so these are supplying the muscles muscles that's why you are saying the somites these muscles are derivative of the our water somites these are derivative of from the somites so you will use the term somatic and these are the motor activity yes these are controlling the muscles the, these are controlling the motor activity that's why you will say efferent do you remember beta i told you one another thing during the our bullet train anatomy sir same sir s for sensory a for efferent sir m for motor and e for yes remember the efferent getting the point yes the efferent is also known as the sensory and motor means also known as the efferent getting the point otherwise you can remember one story suppose this is our any center and if any impulse any structure is coming to the center then it is known as yes c for center then you will say efferent efferent means ana and if impulse is going away then you will say efferent efferent means jana so don't forget this general principle i told you the efferent is also known as sensory don't get confused with this basic terminology this is the session dedicated from the basics of the first mbbs and then we will go for the our yes neat pg i n i c t and the clinical integration so efferent is also known as the sensory and yes efferent is also known as the motor so hope you are all are not having any kind of the confusion yes s a m e getting the point fine now try to understand further yes nikita you are right beta sunset sign is not specific for the one thing yes i taught you the doll's eye sign the oculocephalic reflex few literature they are saying that doll's eye sign is also known as the sunset sign and you are right in hydrocephalus you will see the sunset sign where there is a downward looking of the eye as well as there is the enlargement in the diameter of the our yes you can say the cranial vault there is the dilatation of the vessels so these are the findings you are right absolutely right so keep commenting keep commenting better now try to catch this another point okay sir so this is our same so don't get confusion with the efferent don't get confusion with the efferent in the similar way whenever you are looking the word somatic somatic means a body surface you can say the body surface also this somatic structures they are generally derived derived from the somites getting the point okay yes and in the similar way there is a one word visra visra means inner structure which you cannot feel off from the outer side okay yes sir like heart is the visra like lungs they are visra yes heart lung the git part yes glands they are visra fine so hope you are getting the point somites means on the border outer surface they are derivative from the somites somatic okay visra visceral they are inner body structure yes you cannot touch them like the our gland like the parotid gland like the our submandibular gland like the git gland okay sir these are the visra 
fine so after understanding this all the things what i want to tell you sir the first column of the cranial nerve nuclei when you are observing in vertical way sir third fourth sixth and twelfth cranial nerve yes these all are supplying the muscles of the eye and the tongue correct sir which are derivative from the our somatics that's why you will use the term somatic and sir these are supplying the muscles that's why there is a motor activity and motor activity that's why you will use the term efferent okay now look here now we are shifting on the lateral side when you are shifting to the lateral side can you observe there is the our more cranial nerves yes sir there is i am using the little different color coding yes white color fifth cranial nerve so at the deeper side fifth cranial nerve nuclei is supposed located here and when you are coming down so there was a sixth just lateral to the sixth sir here is suppose seventh cranial nerve nuclei okay sir and now when you are coming down then you will see the 9 10 11 yes sir there is our 9 10 and 11 yes so catch this one the fifth cranial nerve is the largest cranial nerve its nuclei is deeper in location you will observe i am just making one diagrammatic presentation the fifth cranial nerve nuclei located at the deeper side in the pons here so catch this one when these cranial nerves are developing actually these are coming from the one another column during the development yes it is our embryology topic also you can say during the development the fifth cranial nerve yes sir then seventh correct sir then 9 10 11 these all are developing from the one another column yes later during the development this column is separating the mass of the cell body the fifth is getting separate in the pons then seventh yes yes it is also located in the pons then 9 10 yes these are located in the medulla but they are in a vertical way getting the point also if you will observe the eighth cranial nerve later i will teach you sir the eighth cranial nerve sir this eighth cranial nerve can you observe it is lateral most in location so this eighth cranial nerve is coming from the such kind of structure which is lateral most what i want to tell you these cranial nerves are presenting one particular structure the beautiful anatomy yes now look always in your theory you will observe such kind of the structure and they will say the topic name functional column of the cranial nerve nuclei you will see such kind of the images and we are getting the too much confusion today i am going to tell you the basic concept and once you will learn you will never forget never forget never forget this is my promise just you have to practice for one time two times and you will never forget this is a very beautiful topic one of the most beautiful topic of the anatomy okay we are going to take the two session today is the basic session and then tomorrow we will continue the same session with the our too many integration to the clinical as well as the our INICT and the neat page but first the basic concept is required so that you will never forget this topic so hope you all are ready fine so let's start this topic okay sir we are getting the point i am telling you sir this is the our midbrain here is the pons and this is the our water sir this is the our yes it is the our medulla oblongata fine so the cranial nerves their nucleus when they are starting to develop they are developing in a particular fashion yes sir at the midline you will see first column red color but later these cranial nerve nuclei they are getting detachment so this is our first cranial nerve nuclei then second then third and fourth they are arranged at the midline yes so actually this is in the midbrain so yes it is at the level of superior colliculus you will say third cranial nerve nuclei this next is located at the level of the inferior colliculus this is making the our yes fourth cranial nerve nuclei now you can see the sixth cranial nerve and this is the long nucleus of the twelfth these all are having the property to supply the structures which are developing from the somites so this is known as the somatic and these are controlling the motor activity that so it is known as the efferent so this is the our somatic efferent column now just lateral to it can you see there are the special kind of the nerves yes try to catch this point sir you told 5 7 9 10 11 can you tell me any peculiarity about it sir fifth cranial nerve it is the nucleus it is the nerve of the first pharyngeal arch this is the your seventh it is the cranial nerve which is supplying our yes second pharyngeal arch then 9 10 third and fourth 11th is 
helping to the vagus nerve so this is nothing this is the accessory nerve which is assessing the vagus nerve so it is making the vagus accessory complex so you can say the next column of the cranial nerve nuclei is related with the pharyngeal apparatus so amazing these cranial nerves are having the particular relation aisa nahi hai ki koi bhi cranial nerve kidhar bhi develop ho gaya bhagwan ne hamari body ko bahut khubsurti ke sath banaya hai just try to understand beta anatomy means anatomy is yes to observe and tommy means cutting you are cutting and you are observing anatomy beta observation bahut strong hona chahiye getting the point so our observation is saying sir these cranial nerves are not half hazardy ek particular arrangement hai बहुत खूबसूरती के साथ ये क्रेनियल नर्व बने हुए हैं और वो अरेंज है एंड वेन यू विल सी द एथ क्रेनियल नर्व सर इट इज हैविंग द वेरी स्पेशल फंक्शन ऑफ द हियरिंग एंड सच काइंड ऑफ क्रेनियल नर्व दे आर लोकेटेड ऑन द लेटर मोस्ट साइड सो दिस इज दवर टॉपिक यस सर वी आर गोइंग टू लुक फॉर दवर फंक्शनल कॉलम ऑफ द क्रेनियल नर्व सो होप यू आर गेटिंग द पॉइंट सो नाउ वी आर एट दिस स्टेज टू स्टार्ट दिस टॉपिक सर फंक्शनल सर कॉलम्स ऑफ वॉट cranial nerve remember we are going to talk about the nuclei we are not talking about the cranial nerves cranial nerves are axons agree beta cranial nerves are axons hope you all are getting the point fine so just enjoy this session we are going to start this one and please inform your all the friends this is a totally free of cost session so we are going to understand so one by one try to understand sir in our body there are the too many muscles and from the every part of the body the sensation are coming i told you the muscles means movement means motor means efferent and yes sensation means efferent okay sir so catch this point sir this is our neural tube do you remember the c and s it develops from the neural tube sir neural tube is one tubular structure go for the embryology part fine i taught you this neural tube is having the cranial neuropore and the caudal neuropore and at that time i had shown you one little demonstration so just try to understand this beautiful thing so i am coming close to you the development the development of the central nervous system sir i told you there is our ectoderm which is making the neuroectoderm now this ectoderm is making the yes neuroectoderm which is making the neural plate then i taught you neural groove then i taught you the neural tube when you are looking from the front it is observe it is rounded yes sir but when you will look from the below so it is tube like structure yes sir i taught you this tube like structure is developing at the midline of the body yes so the cranial part it will get dilate yes it will make the brain while the caudal part of this neural tube it remains narrow so it will make a spinal cord agree everyone during the embryology class i taught you there is the anterior neuropore anterior neuropore also you can say cranial neuropore which is closed on the 25th day due to the vitamin b9 yes and at the below side there is a caudal neuropore which is closed on the 28th day this is the your recent question is fourth week of intrauterine life it is closed and during this neural plate neural groove neural tube formation the vitamin b9 folic acid is important now integrate with your oxygen your pedia your yes pharmacology there are the many condition whenever vitamin b9 is getting decreased then neural tube defect occurs yes if the anterior neuropore is not closed then absence of the cranial wall that is the our yes you can say anencephaly very important question if the posterior neuropore is not properly closed then there is a mass at the back sir that is our posterior neuropore defect that is the our meningocele meningomyelocele yes myelocystis spina bifida so this is our beautiful surgery integration in pharma you will see there are the our anti epileptic drugs like you can say sir there is our phenytoin carbamazepine valproate phenobarbitone this all decreases the vitamin b9 absorption so they hamper the our fusion of the neural tube now your oxygen integration community medicine integration you will give the vitamin b9 before the conception what is the dose sir 4 mg but in india 5 mg oxygen update according to the williams obstetric and our indian government update okay so remember another thing what is the dose of the your vitamin b9 after the conception and you have to increase this dose if the ladies is having the previous history of the neural tube defect so these are the our different integration yes these are the points above the level of the first mbbs but these are important that's why i told you now one one more thing one more thing okay sir 
सो वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट दवर स्पानल कॉर्ड स्पानल कॉर्ड इज राउंड ओके सर फाइन आई विल टीच यू दिस स्पानल कॉर्ड इज एनिंग द टू पार्ट वन पार्ट विच इज बिलो That is known as the basal lamina, and one part is above. That is known as the LR lamina. Remember, A for LR, A for above. I will teach you this above LR part is afferent. This is the rule. This is the thumb rule. Yes, A for LR, A for above, A for afferent. Fine. While this is the below part, so just do opposite. The below part B for below, B for basal lamina, and definitely if the above part is afferent, so the below part will be the efferent. Okay, sir. I will teach you now. Try to understand. Yes, the upper part of the spinal cord is dilated like the bulb. Are you getting? The upper part of the spinal cord, yes. The lower part of the spinal cord, it is rounded. But the upper part of the spinal cord, it is spread. It is just open. Okay. In our first time BBS, we are asked the question: the transverse section of the medulla at the closed part and transverse section of the medulla at the upper part, open part. Look here, the medulla is closed at the lower part, but when you will see the medulla at the upside, can you see, sir? It is not closed, but it is open. Your hand is going upside. Can you see again from the front medulla? There is the central elevation pyramid, and lateral elevation is olive. But when I am turning the medulla. Can you see at the back side, sir? There is the V-shaped depression. This is the open part of the medulla. So in our first MBBS, they are asking the closed part of the medulla and the open part of medulla. In your NEET PG and ICT, this open part of the medulla is nothing. This is the floor of the fourth ventricle. So can you see this is the V-shaped depression? This is the open part of the medulla. Agree, everybody? Fine. Yes, sir. This is our open part of the medulla. So remember, it is not closed. Yes, it is having the such kind of appearance. Can you see? Yes, open part of the medulla. It is having the V-shaped appearance. It is having the such kind of the open appearance. Yes, the posterior part it is coming laterally. The part which was posteriorly, now it is coming laterally. Okay. So with this basic concept, we are going to start the understanding this portion. Now catch this point, sir. This neural tube it is further growing and it is making the cranial part, sir. That is the our. brain and this caudal part is making the spinal cord okay everyone sir neural tube it is dividing the cranial part is making the brain and the caudal part is making the spinal cord yes sir now we are going to cut this spinal cord at this level transverse section cutting so we are going to cut the spinal cord so when we are cutting the spinal cord during the embryology during the development so what you will see sir you will be able to observe the inner layer sir this inner layer is known as ependymal layer and outside to this ependymal layer there is one another layer this layer is known as mental layer and outside this mental layer there is our marginal layer i am just simplifying the things fine so what are the different layers in the our spinal cord sir inner side is our yes you can say there is ependymal layer then marginal level this marginal layer it is having the collection of the cell body yes later it will make the gray matter so this grayish color layer is indicating the mental layer and this peripheral part it will contain it will contain the axons yes it is at the periphery so it is simply known as the marginal layer what i want to tell you sir this is our marginal layer so during the development of the spinal cord there are the three layer okay innermost is ependymal layer one then outside to the ependymal layer there is a mental layer which is grayish in color yes cell body structures are there and outermost it will have the our axons of the developing neuron so that is a marginal layer okay sir three layers now this is our what this is a transverse section of what spinal cord agree everyone yes sir it is our transverse section of the spinal cord now later during the development sir this our ependymal layer it will make the central canal of the developing spinal cord okay sir just showing with the simple black line fine now that mental layer which is grayish in color it will develop and it will make the butterfly shape gray matter which layer is making this the mcq beta remember which is making the your yes 
butterfly shaped gray matter layer answer is the our yes sir mental layer and the marginal layer is making the our yes white matter part agree everyone bahut aaram se bahut pyar se padhana beta iske baad zindagi mein dobara kabhi is topic ko dekhne ki zarurat nahi padegi just ek baar bahut acche se samajhna hai aur uske baad ek baar samajh kar kisi ko padha dena hai remember if you want to learn then the best way to teach your friend नॉलेज को शेयर करने पर ये बढ़ता है सो वॉट आई वॉन्ट टू टेल यू सर दिस आर द थ्री लेयर एपेंडाइमल लेयर मेंटल लेयर मार्जिनल लेयर विच आर गिविंग राइट टू दवर यस सेंट्रल कैनाल इनर लाइनिंग सो दिस इज नथिंग दिस इज रिप्रेजेंटिंग अवर यस एपेंडाइमल लेयर ओके सर नाउ catch this another point sir the peripheral part sir the peripheral part sir this is our what sir this is our mental layer agree everybody yes sir it is our what it is our mental layer yes sir so here you can see the mental layer and now you can observe the peripheral part sir this is definitely our marginal layer yahan tak sabko samajh mein aaya bahut aaram se bahut pyar se koi hadbadi nahi karni is topic mein hadbadi mein gadbadi hoti hai beta yes this is the one topic which is very very difficult among all the 19 subject so what i want to tell you this is the your ependymal layer and this gray color layer is showing the yes mental layer and this is the peripheral portion which is making the your what sir marginal layer what i want to tell you sir this ependymal layer correct sir this ependymal layer is making the lining of the central canal okay sir mcq the mental layer sir the mental layer is making the gray matter okay sir while the marginal layer is making the white matter mcq and mcq everybody yes neha getting the point beta okay sir now see here during the development sir there is a one hypothetical line which is passing from the our center of the ependymal layer yes sir this line is limiting the function so this is known as the limitance it will represent like a depression like a sulcus so this is known as the sulcus limitans are you getting sir this hypothetical line which is dividing the spinal cord into the two parts yes it is the our ventral part and that is the dorsal part yes this is the basal part and dorsal is also known as the lr part you can say this is the below part yes sulcus limitans below to it this portion is known as basal lamina while sulcus limitans yes who is your friend sulcus limitans is your friend so about to the sulcus limitans about about to the sulcus limitans this is known as the lr lamina do you know the beautiful integration of the anatomy with the physiology the bell mezendi law the bell mezendi law says that remember beta below is always giving rise to the your yes motor kind of the fiber so any kind of the nerve fiber which will arise below to the sulcus limitans remember 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 it will be always 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 motor mcq the basal lamina is always giving rise to the our yes motor lamina you can say efferent while the lr lamina above it will give rise to the efferent sir i told you efferent efferent means also you can say sir efferent efferent you can also say sensory so any cranial nerve or any nerve which is developing from the lr lamina that will be always sensory 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 efferent 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 this is the another mcq yes lr lamina it is giving origin to the efferent nerves sensory nerve while the basal lamina it is giving origin to the motor nerve yes motor also you can say efferent so this is the our thumb rule now whenever i am asking you which nerve is developing from the basal lamina you have to use the term efferent yes it is thumb rule 
एग्री एवरीबडी अगर सबको समझ में आ रहा है तो चलो हो जाए एक एक इमोजी बेटा ऐसा नहीं लगना चाहिए कि मैं कैमरे को पढ़ा रहा हूं और आपको ऐसा नहीं लगना चाहिए कि आप मोबाइल की स्क्रीन से पढ़ रहे हो मुझको ऐसा लगना चाहिए कि आप सामने बैठे हो और आपको ऐसा लगना चाहिए कि मैं आपके सामने टेबल पर बैठा हुआ हूं रिमेंबर बेटा दिस ऑल द बैरियर इन द ऑनलाइन क्लासेस इट कैन बी ब्रोकन बाय द इमोजीज बाय योर कमेंट्स तो चलो एक बड़ी ऐसा सेशन हो जाए जिसमें यस हम एक दूसरे को इमोजेस देते हैं सो माय क्लैपिंग फॉर ऑल ऑफ यू माय थम्स अप फॉर ऑल ऑफ यू माय फ्लावर फॉर ऑल ऑफ यू माय हार्ट्स फॉर ऑल ऑफ यू होप यू ऑल आर एंजॉइंग द सेशन बेटा आराम से बेटा बहुत प्यार और मोहब्बत से पढ़ना है अभी आप इस सेशन की बात कहेंगे लाल फूल नीला फूल एनाटॉमी ब्यूटीफुल यू विल लव दिस एनाटॉमी द मोस्ट कॉम्प्लिकेटेड पार्ट ऑफ द अवर एनाटॉमी नॉट ओनली द एनाटॉमी बॉट एंटायर द 19 सब्जेक्ट ओके सो आई थिंक यू ऑल आर गेटिंग द पॉइंट ड्यूरिंग द डेवलपमेंट ऑफ द स्पाइनल कॉर्ड यस सर द बेसल लेमाइना यस सर इट विल ऑलवेज 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 गिव राइट टू द इफरेंट फाइबर थम रूल बेल मेजेंडी लॉ बट अब द सर्कस लिमिटेंस दैट इज दवर एल आर लेमाइना एंड एल आर लेमाइना इट विल गिव ओरिजिन टू द एफरेंट नाउ ओके एग्रीड बडी ओके सर सो नाउ ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड कैन यू टेल मी आफ्टर द डेवलपमेंट सर दिस दवर स्पाइनल कॉर्ड सो वेन देर इज दवर यस हाइपोथेटिकल लाइन सर्कस लिमिटेंस सर दिस इज अवर वॉट दिस इज दवर सर्कस लिमिटेंस ओके सो यू ऑल आर अवेयर सर हियर इज द डेवलपमेंट ऑफ द क्रीनियल नॉस यस द सेल बॉडी कलेक्शन विद इन द सी एन एस दैट इज नो इज न्यूक्लियस एंड देन इट विल गिव राइस टू द अवर फाइबर दैट फाइबर विल बी द एक्सॉन बट वी आर नॉट टॉकिंग अबाउट द एक्सॉन वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट द अवर न्यूक्लियस सर दिस इज द न्यूक्लियस सो जस्ट टेल मी जस्ट टेल मी वॉट शुड बी द नेम ऑफ दिस न्यूक्लियस सर दिस इज स्पाइनल कॉर्ड इट विल सप्लाई ऑल ओवर द बॉडी सो वॉट आई शुड से सर इट शुड बी the general or special yes it will supply all the normal structure of the body the somites derived structure so what you will say sir this is general it will not supply to the any special structure remember what is special the pharyngeal apparatus the branchial apparatus is special now so this will not supply to the branchial apparatus it is supplying all over the body so it is general yes it will supply to the muscles which are derived from the our somites so what you will say sir this is our what somatic can you tell me beta i should tell efferent or efferent a or e i told you the basic concept below the our sulcus limitans always 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 yes there is a basal lamina basal lamina is giving rise to the motor or efferent so you must say sir this is our yes efferent yes break the name and get the idea always in my anatomy class i tell you all the students shakespeare ne kaha hai naam mein kya rakha hai lekin hum sabhi indian to mirza galib ke diwane hain mirza galib kehte hain sare raj नाम में दफन रहते हैं जस्ट ब्रेक द नेम जनरल यस सर इट विल नॉट सप्लाई टू एनी स्पेशल स्ट्रक्चर लाइक द ब्रेन केलेपरेटर्स इट विल सप्लाई द जनरल स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ द बॉडी यस सोमैटिक इट विल सप्लाई द स्ट्रक्चर विच आर डिराइव फ्रॉम द सोमाइट्स विच आर एट द अवर बॉडी सरफेस पार्ट यस मसल्स एंड डेफिनेटली दीज आर कंट्रोलिंग द मोटर एक्टिविटी सो यू विल यूज द वर्ड इफरेंट सो नाउ गिव द योर यस टर्म यस नेहा बेटा यू आर राइट बेटा जनरल वॉट इज अवर क्यूट नेम जी एस ई जनरल सोमैटिक इफरेंट फाइन नाउ वी आर गिविंग वन निक नेम ऑल्सो सर दिस इज जी एस ई वी आर गिविंग द निक नेम द जी एस ई गुस्से वॉट इज द निक नेम गुस्से यस आई टोल्ड यू द कॉन्सेप्ट एंड एट द एंड ऑफ द सेशन आई विल गिव यू द निमोनिक ऑल्सो सर दिस इज द जनरल सोमैटिक इफरेंट यस निक नेम इज द गुस्से नाउ कैन यू टेल मी सर इन द सिमिलर वे देर इज द डेवलपमेंट ऑफ द वन क्रेनियल नोल एट द एल आर साइड फाइन यस the neurons will enter through here from the dorsum we know from the physiology the bell mesendi law that this is the dorsal horn bell mesendi law says the dorsal horn is always 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 sensory yes because it is the topic of the functional column of the cranial nerve nuclei what we are talking sir we are talking about the nuclei so we are not talking about this our axon but we are going to talk about the our this black black color i am differentiating i am using the gray color so this is the our nuclei yes 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 brown color okay so this is the our nuclei so can you help me to give the nomenclature to this nucleus yes this is our nerve fiber which is coming from the body it is coming from entire body so what you will say it is special 
it is it coming from the pharyngeal apparatus is special viscera no sir it is not special it is general getting the point yes dr saab yes yes dr saab is saying lal full nila full anatomy beautiful lot of help from your cbi classes thank you beta thank you for your such kind of beautiful words yes focus over this topic this is a very beautiful sir it is coming this nerve will come from the all over the body so you will say general sir it is coming from the our peripheral part from the structures which are developing from the somatic so you will say somatic okay sir fine also try to understand it is coming so can you tell me it should be afferent or efferent yes tell me beta yes 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 sir our rule this is the sulcus limitans above to it sir above to it a for above a for lr lamina a for efferent that is the sensory so definitely this is your what sensory so remember the general somatic sensory yes sensory better to say efferent or efferent so you will say the efferent so somatic means coming from the somites also you can say the from the peripheral part of the body that is the ectoderm okay so it is coming from the ectoderm yes peripheral part so just touch your body the sensations are felt yes because the sensory nerves are coming and entering to the spinal cord agree everybody means in the spinal cord there are the two types of the cranial or nuclei yes gse general somatic efferent and this is the gsa yes sir that is your general somatic efferent give the nickname sir we are saying this one gse gusse so we will say this one as the gsa gussa just one funny name fine okay sir now try to understand sir this is the our spinal cord having the two types of the neuron motor and the sensory motor is known as a general somatic efferent and the sensory is known as a general somatic efferent but you know in our spinal cord there is one more horn sir this is the lateral horn this is the our dorsal horn here is a motor horn but there is the one more horn is present that is the lateral horn at the our thoracolumbar region which gives origin to the which gives origin to the what sir which gives origin to the our viscera getting the point so i am going to draw the same spinal cord look here yes spinal cord transverse section at sympathetic system also yes you know from the physiology the sympathetic system is located at thoraco lumbar region so this is the one another important point we are going to observe so what you can observe here sir when you will see the spinal cord at the thoraco lumbar region then what will happen definitely you will see there is a central cord okay sir there is our central canal there is the our dorsal horn ventral horn but also there is a lateral horn so i am just drawing one lateral horn just one simple diagnostic presentation yes sir suppose this is the our yes one more projection this is the lateral horn dorsal horn ventral horn but this is the your lateral horn the symmetrical structure on the opposite side yes so just one simple diagrammatic presentation fine and now i am drawing the white matter part yes sir this is our white matter part fine okay sir again this is the our ependymal layer shown with the black color line and now we are showing the yes the mental layer with the gray color sir this is the our nucleus part nissels granules they are giving the grayish appearance yes around the central canal this is nothing this is the our mental layer and peripheral to it this is the our marginal layer which is giving origin to the our yes white matter agree beta so can you answer me where is the sulcus limitans sir sulcus limitans is located it is a hypothetical line which is passing at the center of the central canal agree everyone yes sir it is our what 
this is our sulcus limitans not the point okay sir now there are the our different cranial nerve nuclei because it is the spinal cord so you cannot say exactly the cranial nerve nuclei because cranial nerve nuclei they are located at the midbrain we are talking right now about the our spinal cord so sir there is the one spinal nucleus on the ventral side and another on the dorsal horn but sir you yes can you give me the what is the name sir you told this is our general sir it is our coming from the somites or the ectoderm so you will say somatic sir it is the motor efferent it is the motor efferent or sensory efferent again the thumb rule you all know sir below the sulcus limitans basal lamina which is giving origin to the efferent and above to the sulcus lamina lr lamina that is efferent means sensory so you all are aware again revising this is the always 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 efferent because it is below the sulcus limitans and you can see here it is above the sulcus limitans a for above so a for efferent and efferent we are showing with the a yes it is carrying the impulse from all over the body not a special structure so you will say general sir it is carrying the impulse from the somites derived structure or the ectoderm so you will use the somatic yes it is not carrying the impulse from the heart lung viscera so don't use the v so two fine sir gusse gussa general somatic efferent general somatic efferent so what sir you told already but what is the new sir new fact is this one this is the lateral horn yes sir here is the your what sir this is the lateral horn and from the physiology we know this lateral horn gives origin to the sympathetic system yes sympathetic system is present at the thoracolumbar region this is the physiology mcq that lateral horn is found only at the our thoracolumbar system thoracolumbar area yes it gives origin to the sympathetic system just tell me sympathetic system parasympathetic system they are supplying the our somatic area ectoderm or the viscera sir the autonomic nervous system the sympathetic system it supplies to the viscera yes is it supplying the our pharyngeal apparatus pharyngeal apparatus is a special viscera no sir it is supplying the heart lung git sympathetic system it is supplying the heart lung git other viscera of the trunk so what you will say sir these are the our general viscera agree are you getting the point aram se beta bahut pyar se samajhna bahut pyar se yes neha you are right you are very very attentive during the class very good so try to understand sir this is our lateral horn here is the sulcus limitans so during the development one nucleus is developed just in front of the sulcus limitans and another is developing behind the our sulcus limitans agree beta getting the point so what i want to tell you can you help me to give the nomenclature to the nerve fibers which are arising from this particular nucleus yes i am enlarging this one sir one more nuclear column is present at the thoracolumbar system sir it will supply all over the body so you will say general yes sir it will be the general it will supply to the somites or ectoderm no sir it will supply to the viscera heart lung that's why you will say visceral can you help me it will be the efferent or the efferent sir because it is below the sulcus limitans and this is the thumb rule always 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 below the sulcus limitans it will be the motor it will be the efferent so you will say the efferent now give the nickname yes we are giving the short name general visceral efferent yes give the nickname gve yes ye general hai ye visera ko supply karega jisko aap touch nahi kar sakte jo ectoderm se nahi ban raha hai yes ye motor impulse le jayega unki activity karwayega heart lung ko yes उनमें मोटर एक्टिविटी करवाएगा हार्ट का कॉन्ट्रेक्शन करवाएगा उसके स्पीड को कंट्रोल करेगा फाइन जीआईटी से मोटर सिक्रेशन करवाएगा दैट्स व्हाई यू विल यूज द वर्ड ई सो गिव द निकनेम यस इन शॉर्ट विल से द ग्वे व्हाट इज द निकनेम यस ग्वे दिस इज द अवर गुस्से एंड हियर इज द ग्वे ओके सर नाउ ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड सर दिस इज अवर जनरल सोमेटिक एफरेंट जिसको हमने निकनेम क्या दिया था गुस्सा okay sir we are going to create the also uh, mnemonic also but right now first focus over the concept can you help me to give the name for this structure yes yes this nucleus 
सर दिस इज कैरिंग द इम्पल्स फ्रॉम द अवर विसरा येस इट इज अ सिंपैथेटिक सिस्टम विसरा एंड विच विसरा फ्रॉम द फेरेंजियल एपरेटस और एंटायर बॉडी सर ऑल ओवर द बॉडी सो वॉट यू विल से सर दिस इज अवर जनरल ब्रेक द नेम एंड थिंक अबाउट इट सर इट इज कमिंग फ्रॉम द विसरा जनरल विसरा कैन यू हेल्प मी इट विल बी इफरेंट और एफरेंट सर द इम्पल्स आर कमिंग एंड एज द थम रूल एब द सर्कस लिमिटेंस Always, always, always. Can you see the thumb rule above the sulcus limit? As a for above, a for LR limit, na a for afferent. Means sensory. Means always here is the our what general visceral. You will say afferent. So in short, you will say G V A. Give the nickname the gua. Agree, beta? Fine. Hope you all are getting the point. So till now you had seen the different columns. What, sir? G S E. Lateral to this GSE, sir, general visceral efferent GVE, and lateral to it, behind to GVA, general visceral efferent and GSA. What is the over rule? Always break the name. Always break the name and think about it. Now try to understand. Catch this point, sir. You talked very nice. The GSE, then lateral to it GVA, then behind to GVA, and on the posterior side GSA. Now try to understand. What will happen if we are going to talk regarding the our yes brain stem which is located in the our neck part yes sir here is the our brain stem the upper part as I taught you do you remember yes 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 again I taught you there is the our what sir there is the our spinal cord we talked about the our spinal cord normal level. In the thoracolumbar layer, but now we are going to talk about the spinal cord, which is at the upper part, sir, which is located in the our yes upper part of the spinal cord, our brainstem part. I told you it is dilated like the bulb. When you will look from the back side, you will see there is the V-shaped depression. This is the floor of the fourth ventricle, and it is not closed, sir. It is open part of the medulla. Yes, so we are going to talk here, and this is the neck part, and this is belonging to the pharynx area. Do you know in our embryology we read that pharynx area is having the one very special kind of the structure, yes, which gives origin to the gills, branchial system in the fishes. That's why this special structure is known as the branchial apparatus in the fishes. But in human, you cannot say the branchial apparatus because in human the gills are not there. So this is the misnomer branchial apparatus in human. It is the misnomer. In human, it is giving rise to the pharynx, larynx, nearby structure. So, in the human, the same branchial apparatus is better known as the pharyngeal apparatus. Sir, this pharyngeal apparatus, pharynx, larynx, palate, these all are on the surface. These are coming from the somites or they are inner side. Sir, these are inner side. These are not derivative of the pharyngeal. These are not derivative of the somites. So, you cannot say these are the somatic. These are special viscera. It is not located all over the body. So you cannot say the general. It is special. Yes, it is on the inner side. So you cannot say somatic. You, can, you will say the viscera. So now try to understand at the level of, yes, 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 what I want to tell you. Try to catch this point at the level of our pharynx part. Yes, there is a development of the pharyngeal apparatus. So in between these two nuclei, in between the general somatic efferent and the general visceral efferent, one more nucleus is developing. Yes, it will supply to the branchial apparatus. Yes, so what you will say, sir, this is the, your branchial. Now just tell me it will be efferent or efferent. Sir, as the thumb rule, this is the sulcus limitance and you told many times, this is the sulcus limitance. Below to the sulcus limitans, basal lamina, bell mesendylosis, that it will always always give origin to the motor fiber which is efferent. Above the sulcus limitans, A for above, LR lamina, yes, it is giving rise to the efferent nerve, which is always, always, always sensory in nature. Got the point, everybody? Yes, very beautiful concept. So, this is the branchial below the sulcus limitans. So, you will use the efferent. Yes, the nickname, the branchial efferent. Yes. We are going to create one mnemonic also. So, what can you pronounce, sir? Be. 
यस गुस्से बे गुए और द पॉइंट बेटा यस सर द ब्रेंकियल एपरेटस इज ऑल्सो द स्पेशल विसरा सो यू कैन से सर दिस इज द स्पेशल यस सर विसरा दैट्स वाई यू विल यूज द टर्म विसरल यस सर एंड इट इज अवर वॉट सर दिस इज द इफरेंट ओके so what you can say the same thing this is also known as special visceral efferent both are same na branchial efferent is also known as the special visceral efferent everybody clear the point beta no confusion fine yes yes neha you are right beta this will be the efferent okay now in the similar way in our lr lamina sir there was a general visceral Efferent because it is supplying because it is the lateral horn sympathetic system so it is the visceral and yes it is sensory because it is behind the sulcus laminate efferent and there was a general somatic efferent I told you in between these two column there is the development of the one more column yes sir sir this is what sir this is your branchial apparatus nerve so what you will the what you will use the term branchial Correct, sir. So, can you tell me this is the branchial efferent or efferent? What term you you want to use, sir? The rule above the sulcus laminis, LR lamina, and LR lamina always, always, always give rise to the efferent nerve. So, this is the our definitely branchial efferent. What you will use the term in short, BA. Yes, the nickname we are giving, sir. This is the BA. Okay, and also I told you branchial apparatus. This is the general viscera or special viscera, sir. The branchial apparatus is very special structure developing near the pharynx. It is not distributed in the body, so you cannot use the term general. This is our special. Yes, sir. This is our special. Yes, it is supplying the viscera, so you will use the viscera. Yes, it is efferent. So the same thing is also as the special visceral efferent. Yes, S V A. Agree, beta. Fine. okay so can you observe what is the sequence general somatic efferent just lateral to it sir just lateral to it there is the our branchial efferent just lateral to this branchial efferent sir there is our general visceral efferent yes gusse be gue and behind to it when you will go there is a sulcus limitans and then mirror images are coming yes just like the general visceral efferent just put the one mirror ek aina rakhna hai to general visceral efferent ka kya bologe sir iska bhai kaun general visceral efferent okay now just behind to it can you see there is the our branchial efferent yes there is a branchial efferent so after just mirror image of this branchial efferent branchial efferent and there is a general somatic efferent so you will say general somatic efferent so behind to it there is the our general somatic efferent agree beta fine yes yes neha you are right now last last of the today's class sir actually this is not the right diagram it is the wrong diagram wrong why wrong sir sir you are drawing the spinal cord but it is not the spinal cord you are talking about the our pharyngeal apparatus you are talking about the midbrain you are talking about the brain stem you are talking about the medullary pons and i told you that our again i am telling you this concept this beautiful concept then we will talk about the yes medial medullary syndrome lateral medullary syndrome billard gobler syndrome many many kind of syndrome again sir this is our spinal cord the upper dilated part of the spinal cord is yes dilated like the bulb Central elevation is known as pyramid. Lateral elevation is known as the olive. But when you are turning this medulla from the back side, can you see there is the yes V-shaped depression. This is the open part of the medulla. So the spinal cord is closed, sir. Spinal cord is closed. But now we are drawing the our brainstem part. So you cannot draw the diagram in such kind of the way. But you have to open it. You have to open it. So we are going to draw this diagram in open way. So catch this point. Catch my point, beta, sir. one imagination suppose i am using my hand okay so try to catch this point sir i am using my hand so just this circular arrangement can you see yes just to observe my two hands dono haath se gol ban raha hai ye dekho gol ban raha hai fine there is the elbow joint can you see elbow joint just to do imagination this is the central canal this is the central canal and from the elbow joint part there is a sulcus limitans so below the elbow Elbow means sulcus limitus. Below the elbow, sir, there is the basal lamina. Means you can say efferent. And above this 
there is the lr lamina means efferent and here in the basal lamina what are the different things general somatic efferent sir branchial efferent and general visceral efferent just give the nickname yes gusse be gwe okay so in the our basal lamina below the elbow joint below the our yes what you can say the elbow joint sulcus limitans there will be the gusse be gwe three nucleus you can do gusse be gwe general somatic efferent branchial efferent and general visceral efferent okay sir now this is the sulcus limitans so can you see above the sulcus limitans gwa general visceral efferent ba yes branchial efferent yes and then gussa general somatic efferent so you will see yes the gwa ba gussa general visceral efferent then branchial efferent and then general somatic efferent so these are in the circular manner but i told you there is the open part of the medulla so it will show such kind of the arrangement yes it is not in circular manner but it will open so these structures are not from front to the back but now we are going to draw from yes midline to the lateral side so catch this point beta just try to understand sir actually at the level of the brain stem transverse section so now i am going to tell you the third and real diagram of this cranial nerve nuclei after this beautiful basic concept yes we are going to look for this our point catch this one sir this is our what same the ependymal layer there will be the our marginal mental layer but just to make simplified diagram we are learning these things in such kind of the way okay sir so at the pharyngeal apparatus level earlier at the time of the development this is the our central canal part developing central canal this is the sulcus limitans so definitely below to it the basal lamina and above to it there is the lr lamina as you told the lr lamina is always 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 efferent and basal lamina is always 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 efferent so there are the development of the different cranial or nuclei yes from midline to the lateral side this is the your what sir this is your suppose left side and here is the right side okay so we are talking only at one side now we are talking only at one side so there is a development of the one two three cranial nerve nuclei yes we are talking about the brain stem so here you cannot use the term spinal nucleus definitely you will use the term cranial nerve nuclei okay so there is the development of the three and then on the back side another three our cranial nerve nuclei okay so what are the different terms can you tell me beta sir the general somatic efferent gusse and then branchial efferent be then you can say yes general visceral efferent yes sir now you have to put the mirror i na rakh do bhai yahan par so just what you have to tell about this all the structure one two and just shift this one here yes just put the mirror words na general visceral efferent so what you will say sir this is the our general oh sorry this is not the efferent this is the your efferent because our thumb rule our thumb rule is saying below the sulcus limitus always 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 efferent so this is general visceral efferent so what is the mirror word of this one sir general visceral efferent yes then branchial efferent so what is the mirror word sir branchial efferent because the sulcus limitans above is lr lamina and lr lamina is efferent in nature and that last one will be the yes your general somatic efferent so here will be the general somatic efferent so what you can say sir gusse be gwe gwa ba gussa now i told you this is the wrong diagram at time of the development it is showing the open part of the medulla agree everybody yes it will show the open arrangement so when there is a open arrangement so this dorsal part it will come lateral to it so just to try to understand the next step of the development sir this is our what sir this is the our yes you can say the basal lamina which is having the our lateral portion here now the our opposite side symmetrical point yes can you see this one yes sir can you see this one yes here fine 
so just catch this point sir this is the arrangement and this is the our v shaped depression this is the floor of the fourth ventricle yes sir and this is our open part na this is the our open part so such kind of the diagram you will see in your embryology part so what are the our different nucleus again i want to show you sir 1 2 3 red color is presenting the our efferent portion why because this is the your sulcus limitans this is the sulcus limitans sulcus limitans here is the sulcus limitans agree everybody yes and after the sulcus limitans these are the efferent so this is the above so above is efferent so sir these are the our efferent columns agree beta got the point okay sir so just tell me what are the our different nomenclature sir this is our general somatic efferent gusse then you can say this is supplying to the brachial apparatus and it is the efferent motor activity because below the sulcus limitus so branchial efferent also you can say special visceral efferent fine and then what you will say sir this is the general somatic efferent then branchial efferent then special visceral efferent gusse be and then next part is supplying the our viscera yes sir so this is our general somatic yes you can say yes it is supplying the our viscera fine general visceral better to say general visceral efferent so do you remember gusse be gwe and now there is our lr lamina it will use the term what so just remember a a a yes sir it is clear it is the a it is the a it is the a okay sir mirror image the first will supply to the our yes somites derived structure and the our viscera so you will use the general visceral efferent and the next column was just mirror word of this branchial efferent so you will say branchial efferent this branchial efferent is also you can say the special visceral efferent and then lateral most structure yes just mirror word of the general somatic efferent what you can say sir it will be the general it is coming from the our somites or ectoderm so somatic and it is efferent so are you getting the point the terminology now don't get confusion we started very slowly so hope you are enjoying i i can see the too many hearts are here so too many hearts are here okay hope you are understanding very nice thank you everybody thank you yes this is the one of the very very difficult part but you all are enjoying yes remember better yes again lal phool neela phool anatomy beautiful so in our next session we will see how these are giving the origin to the cranial nerve and these cranial nerves are arranged in a very very beautiful way in a particular column so that's why they are giving rise to the cranial nerves and these cranial nerves are arranged in a particular fashion aise kaise bhi karke hamari body ko hamare brain ko bhagwan ne nahi banaya bahut khubsurati ke sath banaya hai aur ye pehla column koi aur nahi hai ye general hai yes it is supplying the somites derived structure our extraocular muscle in the tongue yes these are the somatic somites derived okay okay and these are motor nerve so general somatic efferent is the medial most and then our special viscera that's why the next column is our branchial apparatus column so branchial apparatus cranial nerve yes mandibular nerve first arch nerve then come below seventh cranial nerve facial nerve second arch nerve then the third arch nerve ninth then fourth arch nerve tenth and tenth is assessed by helped by the eleventh so eleventh nerve so next column is very nicely yes the cranial nerves are you can say the mandibular nerve fifth nerve seventh nerve then nine ten eleven i will teach you in the next but right now the first first task is to remember this sequence yes sir branchial general somatic efferent branchial efferent general visceral efferent the general visceral efferent the branchial efferent and then general somatic efferent so total how many columns six but at the end there is a development of the one very very special more column at the end one special more cranial nerve column nucleus is getting developed and it will supply to the very special structure yes try to understand it is the our special why special i will tell you yes it will carry the impulse from the our somites derived ectoderm derived okay that's why you will say somatic yes it should be efferent or efferent sir it is efferent part about the sulcus limitans so definitely you will use the term efferent so in short we will give the word ssa okay fine so what you can see here sir these all structures from the midline first is the gusse then be 
then gwe, then kwa, ba, gussa, and the last is your ssa, sasa. Just one funny trick, mnemonic we are creating. Yes, that will be the special, very special, somatic. Yes, it is coming from the ectoderm or somites. Okay? And efferent, sensory. Fine. So, we will talk about it. So, what is the sequence? The 50% of the INICT MCQs, they will be created from this, your mnemonic. Can you help me? The cranial nerve nuclei from midline to lateral. So, what you will say, sir, GSE, Gusse. Then, branchial apparatus. Then, that's why Bay. Then, our general visceral efferent. Yes, they will supply to the viscera. And motor activity, general visceral effect, gusse begwe. Then there was the, our sulcus limitans. Correct, sir? Then gua, then ba, then gussa. And last was the, our SSA, sasa. So this is the your formula. What you have to remember, the 50% of the INICT need PG MCQs. I, recent INICT, your November part, the question had been asked from this sequence, INICT, need PG, only with this sequence, you can crack the 50% of the MCQs, now in the next class, I will teach you, what are the different cranial nuclei which are coming from here, so this is the first part, please revise this portion, so that you can easily crack the INICT, need PG question, which we will talk tomorrow, so remember, our funny formula, Guse Begwe, Gua, ba, gussa, sasa. What you have to do today, beta? Yes, just break the name and think about it, sir. The general it will carry the impulse from all over the body, somatic because it is carrying the impulse from the our what somites or ectoderm, efferent, sir, because it is the motor nerve. Then you have to think about the next branchial apparatus and yes, that is the your motor nerve, that's why efferent. Then what you have to think, sir, general, but it will carry the impulse, it will carry to the, it will carry impulse to the viscera and yes, it is motor impulse, so you will say efferent. Then there is a sulcus limitans, yes, sir, here is our mirror image, there is our sulcus limitans, then you will observe, sir, general, yes, sir, there is our viscera and yes, sir, there is a sensory fibers are coming here and then you have to think about the branchial apparatus and the sensory nerve efferent part now you will see there is our general yes sir somatic correct sir and efferent and then you have to think about the special somatic efferent fine so break the name and think about it just think about the word mirja galib mirja galib kehte hain sare raj naam mein dafan rehte hain so now tomorrow we are going to discuss about this yes this is the same thing in your embryology textbook, you will see the same Gusse, Be, Gue, Gua, Ba, Gussa. Yes, sir. This is the your somatic efferent. This is nothing general somatic efferent. The special visceral efferent. This is the your embryology. Okay. So the general special visceral efferent. Special visceral efferent. Which one is the special viscera? Sir, branchial apparatus. So this is the Gusse Be. Sir, general visceral efferent. So, just open your any text which you are following. You will just see the same sequence. Sir, general visceral efferent. So, general visceral efferent. General visceral efferent. Then, lateral to it. Sir, there is the, our general visceral and efferent. Sir, there is a general visceral efferent. And just behind to it. Sir, there is the our, yes, special visceral efferent. Special visceral efferent. Which one is the special viscera? Sir, branchial apparatus. So, you will use the term BA. And there is the our general somatic efferent. Yes. So, your formula is fixed. Na? Yes, sir. Your formula is fixed. What? Same thing. Gusse, be, gwe. Yes. Gusse, be, gwe. Gwa, ba, gussa. And at the last, one special column is developing which is written here. A special somatic efferent. That is our what? Sasa. Now in the next class, I will tell you specifically how to remember this cranial nerve nuclei in the tip of the fingers. Yes, tip of the tongue as well as tip of the fingers. But one my humble request, please revise the today's class and the tomorrow when we will do the class. After that, no need to study this unit entire in your life. You given the proper time, you given the more time. If I want, I can test this topic in the within half an hour. But you all are related to the first MBBS students also. 
that's why i had taken the time properly and i taught you so this is a very very beautiful beautiful amazing topic god created our body so beautifully god created our body so beautifully so you can catch this all the things getting the point so thank you very much god bless you all so hope you all are understanding so now we will meet together in the next class okay so if any doubt please ask your queries yes any any doubt better please ask Yes, yes, Neha. This topic is very important for the I N I C T and the NEET PG exams. And uh, get ready. If this time in November I N I C T this question had been asked, this topic had been asked, na? Fine. After five years back, this topic again came back into the our pattern. So we are focusing for this. Okay. Indirectly, it will help you to solve the brain stem syndromes. Okay. Yes. God bless you. God bless you, Neha. Hope you all enjoyed this session. yes it is one of the most difficult topic but after this after tomorrow class you will never never require to remember to mug up this all the topics okay beta fine if any doubt please ask okay so with this beautiful lines rehne de aasman zameen ki talash kar sab kuch yahi hai kahin aur nahi talash kar हर आरजू पूरी हो तो जीने का क्या मजा है जीने के लिए कम से कम एक कमी की तलाश कर तो मेरे बच्चों लाइफ में कभी भी थकना नहीं रुकना नहीं चलते रहना है याद रखो कि हम जब लाइफ में चल रहे हैं आगे बढ़ रहे हैं तो ऐसा कई बार लगता है कि हम सक्सेसफुल नहीं है हमको जीत नहीं मिल रही है तो बेटा हर क्लास में ये कहता हूं आप लोगों को फिर से कह रहा हूं आप सभी के सामने अभी बहुत लंबी मंजिल है फर्स्ट एम के प्यारे प्यारे बच्चे हैं बेटा फाइन आईनाईसीटी के बच्चे हैं आप एम डी एम एस करोगे एमसीएच करोगे लेकिन स्ट्रगल कभी खत्म नहीं होगा इसलिए बेटा याद रखना आदमी या तो जीतता है या फिर सीखता है आदमी हारता कभी नहीं है आदमी हारता उस दिन है जिस दिन वो कोशिश करना छोड़ देता है क्यों डरे जिंदगी से क्यों डरे जिंदगी से कि क्या होगा अरे कुछ नहीं होगा तो कम से कम तजुर्बा होगा तो इन्हीं प्यारे शब्दों के साथ हम कल फिर से मिलते हैं हर सड़क में हर गली में हर नगर हर गांव में हाथ लहराते हुए हर लाश चलनी चाहिए सिर्फ हंगामा खड़ा करना मेरा मकसद नहीं कोशिश है कि सूरत बदलनी चाहिए मेरे सीने में नहीं तो तेरे सीने में ही सही कहीं भी हो आग लेकिन ये आग जलनी चाहिए ये आग जलनी चाहिए ये आग जलनी चाहिए so we will continue this session from tomorrow yes after tomorrow there is no requirement to study this chapter this chapter will be on the tip of the tongue as well as the tip of the finger this is my promise so thank you very much god bless you all we will meet together at the same time at the same amazing beautiful platform thank you god bless you all all the best good night shabak hai